Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day to all. Uh, we are from group Strawberry. We want to present about the case number two, which is uh, Black Rocks. So I will start first with the executive summary. Okay, in this uh, executive summary, uh, we want to highlight uh, the main protagonists. Uh, in this case, uh, they have two person, which is Barbara Novik and Michelle Atkins. So Barbara Novik is the vice chair and co-founder of Black Roads, while Michelle Atkins is the managing director and also a global head of Black Roads Investing Stewardship Team. Okay, these two uh, main protagonists translate and take an action from the latest given by the chairman, which is Lawrence Larry Fink. Mr. Lawrence Larry Fink is the supporting protagonist in this case, which is he is the chairman and also a CEO of Black Rocks. Uh, he also uh, write a letter to the CEO of public company uh, in raising any issues. Uh, specifically, in this case, uh, he raising an issue about the EST. Now, what is Black Rock? So, Black Rock is by the Larry Fink, which uh, now uh, he become a chairman. So, uh, Larry Fink started uh, this Black Rocks as uh, a point investment at the first place. Uh, at that time, they named as Black Stones. So, in 1999, officially public is the company. And um, starting from 2004, Black Rock became an active investor of active funds, which they purchased as SRM, SSR, Reality Advisor, and also in 2006, they acquired Mary League Investment Manager uh, of MLIM. But in 2009, they become a index fund, which is a passive investor, which is they only acquire Barclay Global Investor because of the IPO. So um, the changes from active investor to the index investor, uh, the investor or shareholder cannot sell their stock if they disagree with the management. So to grow the awareness, uh, they need to actively engage with the management. Because of this, uh, there is or Mr. Fick. Uh, sent a letter to the CEO of a big company. So lastly, in June 2009, uh, BlackRock became the largest uh, investment management company in the world with uh, they have 6.8 trillion dollars. Okay, next, what is the major problem in this case? Okay, so uh, the first thing, uh, problem is we discuss is about members that lack of involvement with the shareholders. Uh, because uh, before this, I said about the active investor to the index investor uh, or passive investor. So because of this, um, shareholder needs to have an active engagement with the with the management. So um, that this is become the problem to the shareholders and also uh, uh, management. So next problem is the chairman's plan for a new model so that uh, the shareholder can have an engagement. Uh, to improve the communications between the shareholders and their own company. So because nowadays, investors or shareholders not only want to focus in on profits only, but also a long-lasting business which can have a profit but also have a added value to the company, to the business. So lastly, in this executive summary, we want to summarize the recommended plan that we discussed uh, is either to proceed with the um, short-term profits only or to change uh, to the EST models, which highly demanded if nowadays that can be focusing on the both profits and also the society contribution that can added value to the business. Okay, that's all for me. I will pass with the next group mates. Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. and my friends. I am Sofia Ajina Ventura signed with metric numbers 272462 will cover for the statement of the problems for the BlackRock cases. From the case of BlackRock, we found out several issues. So the immediate issue of this case is the engagement between the shareholder and the management. Over the last decade, the BlackRock's involvement with firms has steadily increased, particularly in terms of their long-term approach to engagement. For example, in June 2017, BlackRock advised all company Exxon uh, to improve its climate change risk disclosure and critics its board members for their lack of interaction with the shareholders. And then the engagement process is identifying the problem, discussing it with the firm, giving the company time to react to their comments, then voting against if it is a people believe the company's answer in is insufficient. And then think they outline his vision for a new type of shareholder engagement that will improve the communication between the shareholders 
and the companies they control. The prior model, which limited shareholder interaction to annual meetings and proxy votes, was insufficient. They have to provide a year-round discussion on how to improve the long-term value. Next, on the underlying issue, which is the investment, not only focus uh, in profit, but also focus in the ESG matters. So, Larry Fink was the first to include environmental, social and governance concerns as a major investing topics in his 2016 letter. As he said, the ESG issue is the ranging from the climate change to diversity to board performance uh, and it has a actual and demonstrable financial implication over the long term. As a novice said that ESG issues have become investment criteria. They have an impact on a company's strength and the asset quality. So they anticipate that over the next five years, the fact will be so clear that ESG issues will be adopted into all investing activity. As a result, ESG issues have an impact on an organizational growth. The last issue we found out is about the company purpose on the long term and the short term strategies. Larry Finn in 2014 and 2015 focused on his issue about the short term termism. He described how the firms were focused too much on the reaching short term goals and share buybacks rather than investing for the long term. And then Finn grew more specific about the companies should do in his 2016 and the 2017 letters. And then, as he said, that we are requesting that every CEO spell out for a shareholder issue a strategy framework for the long term. In impact, the company gave further details regarding the long term goals in 2018. Larry Fink predicted that companies will fail to acknowledge their mission and commitments will fall and collapse. But first, he said, uh, would save to bring together management, employees and communities, lead business culture, inspire ethical conducts and ultimately help support the long-term financial return. As a result, the thing defined the purpose as a collaboration with the community that secured the long-term profitability for all stakeholders. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. and my fellow friends. My name is Fazila Abu Bakar, metric number 272430. Today, I'm going to present causes of... Okay, problem. I will continue with immediate issue, the engagement between the shareholder and the management. There are late engagement between the um, shareholder and management. The investor rarely contact with the company. They only focus on the voting at the shareholder meeting. There are some activist investors that made a campaign to change uh, for the engagement between both parties, but there are critics that the activist investor only focus on shortism and prioritize quick profits based on stewardship uh, theory. Uh, the trick might be occur when uh, when the management and the shareholder only focus on the short-term profit. The company cannot protect the well of the shareholder. If the decision cannot be made correctly, the management could not make decision that can make maximize return to the shareholder since the management and the shareholder did not have any engagement. Next is our underlying issue, which is the investor not only focus on profit, but focus on the ESG matter. The ESG issue will affect the company performance. When ESG issue being handled well, the worker problem will be reduced and the production will be well performed. Company will have more experienced worker with well health benefits and well trained. The ESG issue is one of the investor factors since it is trained and the quality of the firm uh, assets based on the stewardship theory focused only on profit oriented might be effect to the on the to the organization esg issue is one of the important matter when investor want to invest there also lead to the company loss when this matter not uh, was not properly be managed Okay, next is uh, the company purpose on the long-term and short-term strategy. When the engagement between the shareholder and management, uh, the decision made tend to short-term profit only. The focus tend to be shortism and involvement in a share repurchase rather than investing in the long-term. Company will uh, with a short-term pro profit will have pressure to distribute earning in the in the process sacrifice uh, investment in employee innovations and capital in expenditure. The matter that necessary for long-term growth could not be done. Based on stewardship theory, this problem might affect the company performance and will minimize the wealth of the shareholder. Due to this problem, they cannot move forward for the long-term growth. The company will not survive for the long-term periods and the investor will uh, not invest to the, to the company. Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Khalila Amalina Binti Muhammad, matrix number 272424 and I will continue to the next part which is decision criteria and alternative solution. 
Our decision criteria is stewardship theory. Uh, corporate stewardship was defined as a leadership style that prioritized the company long-term health and profitability over short-term profit maximization. The initial focus was purely on the investors' long-term interest. Stewardship also include various stakeholders' interests, including interests of the community, society, and the natural environment. Stewardship perhaps the only way to create impact as well as to achieve and practice sustainability and CSR. From the problem above, we have come up with two alternative solutions, which is the first one is to proceed with the traditional model, which is short-term profit. If BlackRock uh, choose this solution, it can help BlackRock to generate liquid capital that they can use to manage business operation. Because by, by profiting up the short-term investment, it can increase the amount of liquid capital of the company. Other than that, by earning short-term profits, can also give BlackRock more flexibility. It means company being able to adapt quickly and it also can help companies uh, adapt to market fluctuation effectively. And apart from that, this solution also have its limitation, uh, which is uh, this uh, solution only provides short-term value for clients. And because this model only focus on the profitability, BlackRock will unable to satisfy all the stakeholders of the company. The result of a short-term focus is that company plays to much emphasis on short-term profitability, creating a fast sense of certainty. This, this causes them to invest less and in fact to perform less well in the long term. The second solution is change uh, to ESG model. ESG integration uh, is the practice of incorporating material ESG information into investment decision with the objective of improving the long-term financial outcomes of clients' portfolio and consistent with clients' objective. This may help BlackRock to enhance risk-adjusted returns to en and to enhance long-term value for their clients. Other than that, by incorporated ESG, BlackRock can develop new data, analytics and frameworks to analyze climate change risks and opportunities across economies, industry, and firms. BlackRock leverage material ESG data as well as the combined experience of their investment teams to efficiency and effectively identify investment opportunities and investment risks. Besides that, with this solution, investors are able to assess clear information and BlackRock can make, can make this information available to all their clients in order to help investors choose the best investment option for their portfolio. Apart from, the, apart from that, uh, the limitation for this solution is the solution is not one size fits all. This is because every company involved in different sector and not all companies suitable with this new model. And other than that, this, uh, this solution also incur higher costs because uh, this solution is charged high, higher fees than passive exposures because which Research was expensive and active buying and selling incurred transaction costs. That is all for me and I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Kairinisa Binti Makir, 272404. Next, I will continue about the solution implementation and justification. After discussion, we choose BlackRock to exchange to ESG model which is not only focusing on profit but also contribute to society. Next is a justification why we choose ESG model. Firstly, it is because traditional approach only focusing on profit, but ESG approach focus both, uh, which is profit and society contribution. Secondly, it is because traditional approach is lack of engagement between stakeholders and company because they only involve in anonymity and policy votes. While ESG approach need shareholders to contribute to society as well. And lastly, it is because traditional approach focus on short term targets and engage in share buybacks while ESG model focus on investing for the long term. Lastly, is a suggestion implementation of ESG model. In order to create a long-term value by investment stewardship to engage with clients who are invested in BlackRock, secondly, is voting process to those clients who have given authority, thirdly, promoted sound governance and responsible leadership, and lastly, engage with stakeholders. Is actually, strong leadership and responsive will be the key to delivering value for shareholders in the face of new-term business challenges and long-term shift in society. Secondly, ESG model help to make investment decision with the objective of improving the long-term financial outcome of clients' portfolio in both public and private market and consistent with the client objective to enhance risk-adjusted returns. 
And lastly, by promoting sound corporate governance and business models, by focus on the issue, advance sound governance practice and support a company's vision and strategy for delivering durable long-term returns to their client. In the same time, it can focus both profit and social activity as well.